Glass may appear as one of the least versatile substances capable of shattering an entire greenhouse with a single impact. However, this doesn't imply that glass is entirely devoid of usefulness. In fact, there are certain tricks and techniques that can be performed with glass, assuming you are an adult and take the necessary precautions. Discover the intriguing possibilities that lie within the realm of glass manipulation, but always remember to prioritize safety. Number 10. Putting a coin through a glass cup. If you want to wow your friends at bar, this is a great trick to perform. All you need is a coin and a pint glass. The trick is that you're going to make it appear as though you made a coin pass through the bottom of the glass, but how do you do it? First, you need to hold a coin in the palm of your hand and your other hand should be the glass. Show your friend that you don't have any other hidden coins, only the one for the trick. Before you thrust the coin upwards through the bottom of the pint glass, you need to perform a French transfer. This is the illusion that you have taken the coin into your other hand, but really the coin is in the same hand as the one holding the top of the glass. Make sure to position the coin between two fingers and out of sight from your audience. Drop the coin into the top of the glass with the hand holding the glass, but do it quickly and at the same time as you use your other hand to pretend to push the coin upwards. It might take 20 or 30 times to get it right though. If your friend is drunk at the bar, chances are that you'll amaze them on your first try anyways. Number 9. Cutting glass with string. There are a number of ingenious ways to reuse beer and wine bottles, but you probably had no idea that there is one trick to cut a glass bottle using a piece of string. To perform this trick is also fairly easy. First, get a piece of cotton string and then dip it in alcohol or acetone if you have it. Next, wrap the string around the middle of the bottle in five or six loops and then set it on fire as soon as it's on fire. Quickly plunge the bottle into cold water until the fire is put out. The bottle should then instantly break into two pieces. It's important that you don't breathe any of the fumes if you attempt this and turn the bottle as it burns to ensure the bottle is cut evenly. The reason this works is because glass isn't a good conductor of heat and the temperature difference will cause the outer layer of the glass to expand faster than the inner layer. The amount of pressure exerted from the outer layer is huge in comparison to the inner layer and the sudden change in temperature makes the glass crack as it can't conduct the heat energy fast enough. Number 8. Prince Rupert Drops Also known as Batavian or Dutch Tears, these toughened glass beads are created by dripping molten glass into cold water. When the molten glass hits the cold water, it instantly solidifies into a tadpole-shaped droplet with a long, thin tail. These drops don't just make great ornaments for grandma. They have some really interesting mechanical properties. To find out what's interesting about them, you need to make them first. Just get some glass and melt it down with a blowtorch. After a few seconds, the molten glass will eventually drop off. Make sure you have a glass filled with water below for the molten glass to fall into, which will instantly turn into a Prince Rupert drop. These drops can withstand a huge blow from a hammer, but the mysterious thing about these drops is that they'll only ever break from the tail end. If the tail is even slightly damaged, the entire thing won't merely shatter, it will disintegrate explosively. The reason for this is due to the bead's internal balancing act of compressive and tensile stresses. After the glass is dropped into the water, the outside layer of glass cools, but the inside stays hot. The outer layer shrinks as it cools, creating a solid shape, and once the entire core is cool, the molecules have nowhere to go, so they just shrink. This creates a super high tension inside the bulb that eventually hardens. If the tail becomes even slightly damaged, all the high tension is released in a cascade of energy, which makes the entire thing explode. Number 7. Separate two glass bottles without touching them. This is another clever glass trick that you can perform at the bar or anywhere you can find two pine glasses, and it's really simple too. This trick involves convincing someone to try to separate two stacked pine glasses without touching them. The only rule is that they're allowed to put them into one position, but cannot touch them again afterwards. The position is a big clue to performing this trick correctly. After your friend gives up, 
showed them how to do it by placing the stacked glasses on the side of the table and blow between the space of the first and second glass. The first glass should then pop out as the pressure from the air forces it to pop out. Just be prepared to catch it as it falls out. Otherwise, it might ruin the atmosphere as well as the trick. Number 6. Wine Bottle That Sucks Up Wine Aside from making great bases for flowers, wine bottles have another trick that you are probably unaware of. Sucking up wine, but how is this even possible? A wine bottle is pretty rigid and thick. To do this trick, pour the contents of a wine bottle into a bowl with a small amount left in the bottle. Put the bottle into a microwave for three minutes and then place the bottle top down into the bowl. Next, the wine bottle will suck up all of the wine in the bowl like a vacuum cleaner, well, just not as fast. The reason this works is because the microwave turns the water and alcohol into steam and vapor, which causes the pressure in the bottle to rise. The bottle isn't sealed and the opening is small enough so that whatever is inside can escape. As the water condenses inside from gas to liquid, the pressure inside the bottle drops, which causes the surrounding atmospheric pressure to push the wine from the bowl up into the bottle. Number five, making glasses sing. You've proudly seen this performed on a reality talent show, but never quite knew how to perform it yourself. Well, fortunately, I can show you how. Fill a glass about half full with water and tip your finger in the water to clean it. Use a napkin to wipe away any dirt off your finger, making sure it's clean before beginning. Your finger needs a little moisture, so stick it back again into the water. Now place your clean, moist finger on the rim of the glass, pressing down slightly, and rub it all the way around without stopping. Continue doing this in a circular motion along the lip of the glass while keeping the same pressure, and soon enough, you're a fully-fledged musician. The reason this works is because, as you rub your finger on the rim, it first sticks and then slides. The stick and slide action occurs for a short length, but creates a vibration inside the glass, which turns into a wonderful sound. Having a clean finger helps improve the stick and slide action, and as soon as the first few vibrations are made, the glass starts to resonate. The pitch can be changed depending on how much water is inside the glass and the volume is determined by how much pressure comes from your finger. Number four, cutting glass with scissors. If someone told you that you could cut glass with scissors, you would probably think they're lying, but there is a way and all you need to cut glass is a regular pair of scissors and a tub of water. Fill a tub with water enough so that the glass is fully submerged and then start to slowly and carefully cut the glass. Through this process slowly so that you can create a properly cut section of the glass. This works because the water encourages cracks in the glass. Basically, this makes the length of the crack grow by size and the water's reaction reduces the energy necessary to break the silicon oxygen bonds, making the glass crack faster. Number three, breaking tempered glass like a ninja. Tempered glass is a type of glass designed so that if it breaks, it shatters into small, blunt pieces, making it relatively safe. The traditional uses for tempered glass are a safety glass for car windshields, shower doors, and tabletops. Breaking the glass is safe to perform, provided here an adult, and have in place some protective measures such as gloves, goggles, long-sleeved shirts, and long pants. If you hit it with a large hammer, the glass will break and continue to do so for 30 minutes or more. However, there is a faster method, one that is especially known to burglars and firefighters. Ninja rocks are broken shards of spark plugs that are formed by smashing the ceramic part of a spark plug. These can quickly and quietly fracture side windows on most cars and have been used for smash and grab burglaries since at least 1995. The name isn't associated with ninjas, but it should be because they're silent, deadly, and useful for crime. When these weapons of minor destruction get thrown at moderate speed, the sharp shard made of aluminum oxide ceramic has a devastating impact on normal or tempered glass, focusing enough energy into a small enough area, releasing internal energy on impact and shattering the glass. Once the porcelain penetrates a single point in the whole glass, the entire panel collapses. 
Porcelain is an extremely hard, solid scoring, a 9 on the most scale. Only a little below a diamond, that's why they can shatter glass so effectively, because all the energy is focused on a single tiny point and cannot be absorbed in time. So the glass just breaks. Number 2. Breaking the bottom of a beer bottle. Blowing out the circular bottom piece of a glass bottle is an interesting trick to perform, provided it performed outdoors and everyone has stood watching it all from a safe distance. The trick only requires a glass bottle, water, and your hand. So how is it done? Firstly, fill the empty glass bottle with water until it's slightly above the bottom of the neck. This trick doesn't work on carbonated water or anything that has bubbles in it because they stop the trick from working. Hold the neck of the bottle firmly with one hand and hold the bottle at an angle where you can achieve leverage with safety in mind. With a swift motion, use the bottom of your palm of your hand to hit the bottle on the top where the cap normally is. You should hear a crack and the bottom of the bottle will fall off like magic. There are a few theories as to why this happens. One is that air pressure is what causes the bottom to give in while another suggests that non-carbonated liquid is better at shattering glass than carbonated liquid, and the force of the liquid getting pushed down is breaking it. Number 1. Stretching the bottle top. Glass bottles don't seem particularly malleable, but there's nothing a hot blowtorch can't fix. But how could a blowtorch stretch a bottle top? First, put the bottle in water for 5 minutes. Otherwise, the change in hot temperature from the blowtorch will make it crack. Remove any stickers or labels as well. Then place a coat hanger wire around the neck of the bottle closer to the rim. Get a blowtorch and spend about 20 seconds burning the neck of the bottle until it starts to glow red. It's going to take a few minutes to cool off and thus revert back to being solid. So, use the wire to slowly pull the bottleneck while it's still red and easy to bend. Now put any stickers back on and you have a really cool artistic masterpiece to impress your friends with. Have you tried any of the glass tricks before or will you be trying any in the future? Let me know how you get along in the comments section down below and thanks for watching.